Sean Bailey, Jamaica's new 400 meter king, shines in LA. And Brianna Liston books her ticket to the NCAA semis. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, are ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, the world under 2200 meter champion from Cali, Colombia last year in 2022, Brianna Liston booked her ticket to the NCAA semifinals. I guess you'd call it the final stage leading in to the finals of the NCAA outdoor championships in, of course, the women's 200 meters and Liston took to social media to express her joy uh, for being able to book herself her ticket to this very, very important event. She wrote, blood, sweat, hella tears. White people, I know it. I, I can't imagine how rough it must have been for her and is going for her adjusting in her first year in on the collegiate scene. But she did extremely well representing LSU. If you don't know, that's who she's working with. Uh, alongside LSU or the Tigers, um, other 200 meters uh, specialists, including Favor of Philly, who ran 22.69 in a plus 3.7 meters per second win. This um, 22.75 also qualified in a plus 3.2 meters per second win. And... and LSU's Thelma Davis also qualified with a 22.99 run in a plus 3.2 meters per second win. Liston, was the one, Liston, Brianna Liston was the one you saw in the second of the three races that we just featured. So Brianna Liston is through to the NCAA, uh, technically the finals, the semifinals, which happens later this year. Kudos and congratulations to this remarkable athlete. Now, many of you have been asking for 400 meter races uh my royals so you know and how to get it and we just had one of the biggest in fact the biggest 400 meter news of any jamaican athlete in i guess the last year um and i'm not talking about the issue with christopher taylor well let's just say sean bailey i would now dub him the new jamaican 400 meter king after his remarkable run at the la Grand Prix yesterday where he surged in the end to beat uh, the former Olympic gold medalist uh, Karani James of Grenada in a brilliant run and a sub 45 his second sub 45 for the 2023 season thus far Sean Bailey shared on his social media pages from a childhood hero to an amazing competitor. It was an honor to race with one of the greatest quarter milers in the sport. Of course, he was referencing the remarkable Karani James, James uh, also from the West Indies from that beautiful island called Grenada. Big, big run. Uh, in the end, and Sean Bailey won in a new personal best, a remarkable 44.43 that puts him up there with the big boys ahead of Karani James, who came second in 44.50, a season's best. And uh, Quincy Hall of the United States, who ran 45.09, also a season's best. This was a great race. A really good first 300. 
John Bailey of Jamaica in lane six trying to chase him uh -oh. down as James now trying to fight through here in the last closing moments. But Sean Bailey of Jamaica says it's not a race of 390 meters as he takes the win over 400. Anybody running down Karani James Sanya, you know, is doing something special. I agree with Otto Bolden there. Um, yes, anybody who runs on Karani James is doing something special. This is a big, big, big run, people. 44.4. Uh, that's 44.43 for Sean Bailey. That's a huge, huge deal. And not just the remarkable time because that's world top tier time. That's top 10 time there, people. Actually, that's top five time in the world, to be very frank with you. Um, not only it's the manner in which he, I mean, Karani James completely dominated that race for the first 390 meters, 380 meters. And for you to run down a Karani James in this manner, it says a lot about his fitness level. And it's still relatively early in the season. And he's not been running a lot of races, so he will not burn out. Like I said, uh, he's won, he's run another sub 45. So he looks really, really good. This is big news for Jamaican. That's why, yes, you're going to say I'm being premature. But who else is there, people? The only other Jamaican that I know that has run a sub 45 in the last two, three years is, uh, if my memory serves the currency, correctly, Christopher T Cobby Taylor. And we are all aware of what's happening with Christopher Cobby Taylor. And Christopher Cobby Taylor has not looked this good for a while. This is an amazing run, people. This is top, top tier. Watch again. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. I've been saying for quite some time we need to fill in some of these blanks. We need some 800 runners, 1,500 runners, mile runners. And we need more than just one great 400-meter runner, which was Christopher Cobby Taylor. And I'm not knocking people like Super Donkey Man and these other. These are, they're great athletes. But to be top tier, top seven in the world, you have to be running sub 45. And this young man, who I believe is Veronica Campbell Brown's brother, has ran sub 45 twice this year, running a new PB in this race, 44.43. That's one of the fastest times in the world thus far this year, people. And not only did he run, he ran down Kirani James, one of the top three athletes on the planet as we speak, and thrashed him in a commanding way. This is a really good look for Jamaica people. We're walking into that 400 into the World Championships and we're looking good. Um, yes, I know you're going to say it's premature to call him the new king of Jamaican 400 meters. But who else is there? Who else is running sub 45 people? I just want to know who, who else. We just know what just happened with Christopher Covey Taylor. We covered it here. So who else is there? He's actually the only Jamaican that that, that can actually run now. Um, that's running sub 45. And the man in which he's running sub 45. And it's, he's so commanding. This is remarkable. So yes, I am crowning him. The team doesn't agree with me, but I am crowning him the official new Jamaican king of 400 meters. Yep. Sean Bailey. Do you agree? Now, this, of course, is my two cents. And kudos and congrats to Brianna Liston. Let's hope she sparkles like she always does at the NCAA Outdoor Championships later this year. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, your Royals, Kings and Queens. Bless up!